What's up, you guys? I have a different background, just me with Billy, but that's not important because I'm letting fate decide where I'm going for groceries, how much I can spend, and how often I can go out to eat. So the four locations that I have a chance at shopping at are Sprouts, the local farmer's market, Target, Chinatown, and Trader Joe's. The four different price points will be $15, $30, $45, or $60. And lastly, how many times I can eat out will be between zero, one, or two. And I have to preface, the times I eat out will not be a part of the budget, but being the frugal guy I am, I'm not gonna be spending a crazy amount, it's just gonna be probably just a meal at a restaurant with a friend. And I also have to mention, I'm only gonna be doing a work week uh, because here I'm working at home and then I can prepare my meals, but the weekends will be for, you know, going out, seeing friends and stuff, so only for a work week. All right, let's get right into the spinners. So here we have where I'll be shopping, how much money I can spend, and how many times I can eat out. So, let's just get all the wheels spinning and we'll see what happens. All right, the location honestly doesn't really matter too much. Oh, Trader Joe's with a $30 budget and I can eat out twice this week. So this is my challenge, $30. Not the best, but I think it should be doable. I'm excited, let's go. So Trader Joe's is about a 30 minute walk, but I am a handy dandy skateboard, so it should only take like 10 minutes or so. So the thing is, I already went to the grocery store last week and I still have leftovers. I think I have like, maybe like a quarter pound of chicken thighs, some eggs, some rice. So because of that, I'm lowering my budget down a third to $20. I have a really bad habit where I don't really plan this out. <sighs> Maybe I'll get better at that, but probably not. Hello. Hey, you find everything okay? Yep. Okay, 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 okay. So unfortunately, I picked the wrong shrimp. So it ended up being $3 more than I thought it would be. So everything cost us $23, but had I chosen the right shrimp, it would have been 20. So I was really close there. But here we have the ground beef. We got mushrooms, 99 cent linguine, a solid simmer sauce that I spent like 20 minutes looking for, two potatoes instead of hash browns, whole bag of carrots for 89 cents and the shrimp, I think. Yep, and that's it, the $11 shrimp. So I think firstly, I need to explain what I plan on making. So I wanna make some shrimp linguine with the linguine and the shrimp and obviously I can add in some carrots and some mushrooms. For lunch, I'm gonna be using my leftover rice, which is one of the reasons why we took off $10 with the ground beef with the masala sauce, and again, carrots, mushrooms, to make, I don't know, some beef masala rice mixture, or something like that. <laughs> yeah, and for breakfast, I'll make my own hash browns, along with leftover eggs. Feel free to pause right here to see the entire breakdown of what I bought from Trader Joe's. Well, and also, I have stuff like lemons, and I have all these, you know, all these spices that once you buy them, you don't need to restock them every time you go to the grocery store. So that's why I'm not gonna be counting that. In total, $30 for this week. I'm looking forward to it. I'm really trying stuff new here, you know? Like I've never made shrimp linguine before. I've never done a beef masala rice mixture thing. So this is all new stuff. So hope you guys enjoy. So I woke up at 7.30 today to cook some breakfast, but I woke up to a text of my coworker waiting at the basketball court for me because apparently when we said we would play ball at 7.30, he meant a.m. and not p.m. So all that being said, I had a good exercise but I probably won't be eating breakfast today. All right, it's lunchtime for day two. So I mentioned yesterday that I had enough sandwich materials for two sandwiches, but I actually have a friend who's visiting who can have the other one. You guys recall yesterday, I mistakenly bought the wrong shrimp and ended up paying $3 more. So hopefully this helps to balance everything out. But because this stuff is perishable too, I, I, I want to make sure I use it up first. All 
All right, so because I can eat out twice this week, both of those will be dinners. So this shrimp linguine will be for three dinners this week. What I have going on is this overpriced shrimp that I bought by accident, a whole pound of it, but one dollar linguine. I'm also gonna be adding in two ingredients which isn't in the recipe that I was looking at, but mushrooms which are pretty cheap for like two dollars and carrots for 89 cents. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just boil my water with a little bit of salt and stick my linguine in there for around like seven to 10 minutes. And the next thing I'll be doing because I have these extra ingredients uh, is first I'm gonna be cutting my carrots into small little bits, putting them into a pan uh, with some water, get that softened a little bit. And once that's almost ready, get the mushrooms in there. And finally when the carrots and mushrooms are almost all done, put it to the side and then get my shrimp going. That's where all like the garlic, the lemon, and the salt pepper will get into there to make this nice little shrimp mixture. And finally at the very end, we're gonna mix the shrimp with the carrots and mushrooms mixed with our linguine. And that will be my three dinners for this week. So I actually had leftovers for three more dinners. So maybe if I don't have enough for lunch, I can have one for lunch, I guess. Good morning, guys. It's day two. I have time to make breakfast today because my first meeting is not till 10. I bought two potatoes from Trader Joe's. So I'm probably cutting up one of them into small little slices to make like a kind of hash brown slash french fry mix. Uh, and slap one egg in it as well. So that's enough breakfasts for four. So honestly, missing yesterday's was kind of convenient, but again, I don't recommend anyone skipping breakfast. Just missing some bacon, you know? Making lunch now with this masala sauce, carrots, beef. I'm just gonna be cooking rice. Uh, then I'm gonna be doing the carrots and the beef in a separate pot, pour the masala sauce, and then mix them together. It should be pretty simple. First thing I have to do is wash the rice and then cook the rice. Slap the beef. Cut the carrots. Cook, season, combine, pour. Don't waste. Stir. Simmer on medium heat. Just gotta pack up the leftovers. So I'm off to my first meal out. I'm going to a place called Bar Pom Pon. Um, and it goes without saying, I'm not gonna be like buying three meals and packing any for home. I'm just gonna have one and that'll be it. And I forgot to mention, I'm going with a friend, my friend Solu, not by myself. I don't go to restaurants by myself. <laughs> Morning of day three, and today I'm cooking my potatoes the right way. We soak, and we let it sit. Homemade fries. Just gonna have some of this left over for lunch today. I'm with my friend. Hello. <laughs> and uh, this is my second meal out, and we're eating at Good Fortune Chinese. 
I haven't really explored much of this area, but hopefully it tastes good. Yeehaw! Wow. This is the first time I'm using this patio. <laughs> this is the Happy Family. This is the Jumbo shrimp and broccoli. This is a lo mein. And that's the fried rice. Oh. <laughs> and then these should be just like regular rice then. Before you leave, or like if you know, oh, I'm gonna leave at this point, just shoot me a second. You don't have to worry about it. Why are you laughing at me? <laughs> Good morning. It's now day four. Good morning, it's now day four. I think for the last two breakfasts, I'm gonna be baking my potatoes instead of frying them in deep oil, which is obviously not as healthy. But yeah, I looked online, saw some pretty good recipes for some roasted potatoes. So it's gonna be pretty simple. I'm just gonna cut up my potato into one inch chunks. Then I'm gonna stick them in the oven for 425 degrees for 25 minutes. And uh, you know, put some oil and seasoning and that should be it. Have my leftover rice and masala for lunch today. Fourth dinner. Eh. Eh. I have a reward for a free any size fountain drink from Wawa, so I'm headed there right now. Oh yeah. y'all hey just want to do a quick recap at the end of day four. I got my roasted potatoes from earlier this morning that I'll probably crack an egg tomorrow. I still got one more serving of rice and my beef masala carrot mash. And then one huge serving of my shrimp linguine. I didn't, I didn't do my hair today and it's showing. But hey guys, it's morning of day five. This honestly wasn't like too much of a challenge, I feel, especially uh, with the two times I was able to eat out, and $30 was plenty of money, I think. Um, yeah, but I'm gonna be finishing this off with my breakfast of roasted potatoes, and I'm gonna cook an egg on the side as well. Microwave. Right on there, and that's breakfast. Now I'm having the last lunch of this challenge. Last time this was a little bit too much for me, so I'm gonna just maybe have like three quarters. Just came from basketball lifting and shopping and I'm ready to down the last of my lunch right here. And finally, the last meal of this challenge my last portion of my shrimp linguine. So overall, this challenge wasn't too overly difficult. I think $30, I mean, especially compared to 10, is a lot easier to handle. Yeah, I think I've also been cutting a little bit, so I haven't been eating as much to begin with, so it made this challenge a lot easier. But I thought I'd just have a little bit of fun, letting fate decide exactly where I'd be shopping for my grocery this week. That being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Like, subscribe, comment down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.